In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the nail knot. So this knot here is, it's quite simple to do, and it's one of the more popular knots when you want to tie fly fishing line to your leader. All right, so before we do get started, I just want to mention a gear giveaway I'm planning on doing. So it's probably going to be at like 1,000 subscribers, and then I'll probably continue doing it every like 5,000 after that. So here are some things I'm thinking about. So we have for here, it's a bait casting reel. You have to have like a backpack, you know, a fishing backpack. I just toss everything in there whenever I'm going out. It's really, really useful. And also like a GoPro or something. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. If you do have any suggestions for anything else, just leave a comment down below and um, I'll figure something out. But if you do want to enter, I need you to do three things. Okay, so first, subscribe to the channel like this video and comment giveaway down below. Just do those three things and it'll be automatically entered. All right, so if you do want to enter, then good luck and we will jump back to the video. All right, so you're basically gonna need three things. You're going to need your leader material, you're going to need your fly line, and then you're gonna need something that's kind of shaped in somewhat of a circle like this. So it's obviously called the nail knot, so you can use a nail. Um, you can use a hollow tube, or you can use like a stir stick for coffee, like one of those sort of things. Um, because I am using some thicker rope here, I'm going to be using a pen. This could work if you're using normal fishing line, but it might be a little bit big. So maybe something a bit smaller could do, but the yellow line here is going to be my fly line. So this, this is coming from this way. So my fly line, my tag end, and then this black line is going to be my, my leader material. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the tag end of your fly line and we're gonna take whatever sort of wedge you're gonna use, and you're gonna kind of place it just like that. You wanna make sure that they're kind of, they're they're pretty parallel, so like you wouldn't want it like that, or what you wouldn't want it like that. Have them as pretty close to possible as you can, and then all you gotta do is hold it there in your hand. Then you're gonna take the tag end of your leader material, and we are going to overlap it quite a bit. So it's coming up, and we wanna give ourselves a decent amount of tag end here to work with. Um, obviously, if it's your first time, you'll probably wanna have a, a, a pretty good amount here. But basically, all you're gonna do here is you're gonna hold it just like that. So you're gonna hold all three. You have your tag end here, and then off here is going to be your main part of your leader, okay? So all you're gonna do is we're gonna hold this, and we're basically going to bend it down so the leader line, the tag end of the leader line is hanging off. And all we're going to do is we're gonna take this line here and we're gonna wrap it around the pen, the fly line, and the base part of our leader. We're gonna wrap it down this way. We're going to go, uh, you, you, you can go as many as you want, um, but generally at least six, I'll do like six to eight. So I'm just gonna wrap it six times down here so we're just gonna take it, we're gonna go around all three. All right, and you basically wanna make sure that they are pretty like neatly wrapped, so they're 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 basically in line, they're, they're not on top of each other, they're kinda of nicely wrapped like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just make sure you do your best. And then what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be using this, the pencil here, and we're gonna be sliding it out. So all you gotta do is slide it out. If you do have a hollow tube, you can just put um, the line through the tube, but I don't have one in this case. So we're just gonna slide this out. Okay, and we're gonna be left with a hollow hole here. And basically all you have to do is you have to take the tag end of your leader material, and we're going to be putting it through the hole here. So all you gotta do is feed it through the hole grab it from the other side and you want to slowly start pulling the tag end of the leader and the main line of the leader slowly start pulling it so it starts to tighten this up a little bit i like putting a bit of moisture on this so either like water or spit i just do that on all my knots it seems to secure it a little bit better but all you want to do is you want to make sure that the knots here are all tight you want to make sure they're kind of bunched together like if, if they were kind of all over the place like that that's not what you want. So you want to kind of bunch, make sure they're bunched together, all that kind of stuff. Grab the, the, the leader lines, start pulling them tight. You know, give this a twist, make sure everything's nice and bunched. Slowly start pulling them, you know, do it again. Slowly start pulling them, right? And then once everything looks really good, then you can really 
grab the two leader lines and really yank it tight. And then all you gotta do is clip off the tag end of the fly line, the tag end of the leader material, and there is your simple nail knot. So if you do want to learn about any other useful knots um, and how to tie them, I will leave a link for that down below. It's going to kind of walk you through all of the all the more common knots and like what they're used for, how to tie them, all that kind of stuff. So that link's down below. And if you do want another entry into our giveaway, you can like and comment on our latest video, which is going to be the left of this video. All right, so I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.